over the place, please welcome Kyle Ziegler! My name is Kyle Ziegler. Rhymes with Wiggler. Yeah. <laughs> Which is also how I dance. <laughs> cool, cool. I don't usually do that, but I thought for the first show I've ever done without a microphone, that would be a fun one to do. <laughs> uh, a little bit about myself. I am Pennsylvania Dutch. Yeah. Yeah. We are in the only state where people woo or meow for that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I am Pennsylvania Dutch, but uh, not the Amish kind, not the Mennonite kind. Uh, just proud Central Pennsylvania. You ain't Dutch, you ain't much. Uh, I'm the kind of Pennsylvania Dutch where my grandpa couldn't pronounce his V's. <clears throat> like he used to always say things like "weehicle" mm -hmm. and, and "vcr." <laughs> and, uh, Sadly, I never got to hear him say DVD player. <laughs> because <laughs> to him, it was still just called a VCR. <laughs> uh, when I was little, I felt like my grandpa was obsessed with acres for some reason. Like, uh, w whenever you'd go see him when I was little, he would always say things to people. He'd be like, how many acres do you have? <laughs> and, uh, and then as he got older, that changed. He would say things like, who are you? <laughs> Gotta know. Not everyone always laughs at that, but I think it's hereditary, so I'll forget about that someday. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, speaking of Pennsylvania Dutch, I picked up an Amish hitchhiker a couple weeks ago. Uh, and I was nervous about doing this because I haven't really talked about it on stage much at all yet, but I'm going to do it anyway. Is that okay? Yes! yes! So I've never picked up a hitchhiker before. I've never had the balls to do it. Uh, but, uh, but I've empathized. I've wanted to, but I've just been scared. And then I saw this Amish guy on the side of the road, and I learned something about myself. I learned I'm not afraid of Amish guys. <laughs> <laughs> so I pulled over. I, he was just standing there with his tool bag. I picked him up. The first thing he did when he got in my car was he unzipped his tool bag. <gasps> and he handed me two flowers. Aww. Yeah, these flowers were so beautiful at one point, I think. <laughs> I think he gave all the flowers that weren't smushed in his tool bag to his cousin or something. I, don't know. <laughs> uh, I, I did pick up an Amish hitchhiker. If, if you don't believe me, his scent is still lingering in my car out there. <laughs> and also on my lips. <laughs> I was just kidding, I was just kidding. I, I did not kiss him, I did not kiss him. I blew him. <laughs> Still kidding, I am a little bit afraid of Amish guys. <laughs> uh, you know, um, I promise I'll talk to my uh, talk to my cat. Well, I used to talk to my cat. I promise I'll talk about my cat later, but I'm going to talk about my dog for a second. Uh, my wife and I, we talk to our dog. Anyone here with dogs, talk to your dog. Yeah. All right, cool, cool, cool. Tepid applause from the dog owners in the room. Uh, we, uh, we always used to talk to him. We used to always be like, your breath stinks, honey. Your breath stinks. Uh, so then we took him to the vet because his breath stunk so bad. And they ended up ripping out all of his teeth. Yeah. It just sucks. Imagine going to the dentist and you're like, my breath's been stinking. And they're just like, no problem. We're just going to rip them all out. <laughs> but now that he ain't got no teeth, that's what we say to him. We're always like, you ain't got no teeth. You ain't got no teeth, honey. But now that he ain't got no teeth, he's got all these toys and treats that he can't use anymore. <laughs> We've got all these greenies. They're like a dog treat that's supposed to be good for your dog's teeth. I don't know why I'm holding one like I'm going to give you one. <laughs> but um, I've been trying to give them to my friends with dogs. And I was like, hey, you want these? And my friend was like, it's a dog treat that's good for your dog's teeth. And I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. And he's like, and you've been giving it to your dog his entire life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now he ain't got no teeth. <laughs> so I threw the greenies away. <laughs> Just like this, one at a time for like 30 minutes. That's about how many we had. Uh, my wife and I, our vet is very attractive. Uh, I know that our vet is attractive because I'm attracted to our vet. <laughs> but my wife is also attracted to our vet. And I know this because she gave me this hypothetical. She was like, Kyle, would you sleep with our vet in exchange for free vet bills? 
And it was my wife. So I was like, no, I wouldn't sleep with our vet in exchange for free vet bills. So I would sleep with our vet in exchange for sex. <laughs> and she was like, yeah, me too. No. I would not sleep with our vet in exchange for free vet bills. Because first of all, I value our dog's health care. I don't want to do anything to complicate things with that relationship. Um, also, I can't be responsible for like $3,000 worth of sex. <laughs> We've been married for six years. We haven't even had $3,000 worth of sex. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, my wife and I, we don't want kids. Uh, nothing against kids, just not for us. Uh, you know, we'll just keep getting dogs and hoping they get sick. <laughs> we would think about having kids, so maybe, like, if our vet decided to become a pediatrician. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, go see Dr. Jenna. Um, during the pandemic, our vet was not letting us into the office. We'd sit in the parking lot, and a vet tech would come and take our animals inside and bring the animal out when they were done. Uh, and our cat was sick during the pandemic, so we had all these vet visits, and it was just so terrible because we couldn't go inside with the cat to see the vet. And um, they had one exception, though, which was for when you put your animal down. Uh, and sadly, we had to do that during the pandemic. Um, our cat had COVID. And... <laughs> It's a real thing. It was it was the it was the worst thing that happened to us during the pandemic, but it was also the best thing because it's the only time we got to see our vet. That was my first time doing that one too, but I just had to talk about my cat because I'm wearing this shirt yeah. and, and the show. Yeah. Uh, I I like to think of myself, my wife and I were very open with each other. We have a good relationship. I like to think of myself as a modern husband who really tries. Uh, like the other night, I was folding laundry because I'm a modern husband who folds laundry. And then afterwards, when I was done, I made my wife some chamomile tea while she refolded the laundry. <laughs> uh, I, I do lie to my wife sometimes, though, about stupid stuff, like really stupid stuff. Um, like, she doesn't like me eating junk food, and I'll come home, and I'll just zone out at the kitchen wall, and I'll just be eating chips with no thoughts. And then she'll call me, and I'll pick up the phone, and I'll be like, hey, babe. It's my voice when she calls, hey, babe. <laughs> and she'll be like, what are you doing? And I'll be like, getting ready to take a shower. Great lie. Take a shower. Cover my tracks. The more embarrassing lie, and I've done this since I was a little kid. I don't know why. can't believe I'm doing this. I'll put my <laughs> but I'll go upstairs in our bedroom sometimes. And I'll pretend that I can walk on the ceiling. <laughs> so I'll pretend that I can walk on the ceiling, and my wife, it's embarrassing, so my wife will yell upstairs. She'll be like, Kyle, what are you doing? And I'll be like, getting ready to take a shower. <laughs> I take so many unnecessary showers. <laughs> but I did not always lie about this. I started doing this when I was a little kid, and I would tell the truth. My dad would yell upstairs. He'd be like, Kyle, what are you doing? And I was little, so I was like, playing. <laughs> and then like 10 years later, he yelled upstairs, Kyle, what are you doing? And I was like, playing. <laughs> and that's when I was like, oh, I should start lying about this. <laughs> OK. <laughs> I believe that's my time. Brandon's on my time. Yeah, that's my time, right? Yeah, that's my time. <laughs>